You know, I think for most of us, when we think about band saws, we tend to think about putting big, massive blades on there, doing resawing and those kind of operations. And of course, band saws are wonderful for that. But I want you to remember, they're also very good at doing more delicate work with a smaller scale blade like I'm using here. This is a 3 16 inch blade, and I'm using it to make a bandsaw box. What a great use of this beautiful chunk of spalted wood I've got here. So let me take you through the process. Here's a rough outline of what I'm going to do. I've got the outside shape pretty well defined. I'm going to do one more cut across the front. Then I got to cut the back off the box, cut the drawer out of the inside, do some cuts on the drawer, and then we'll have a look at what the box saw, bandsaw box would look like going back together. It's a very cool way to take advantage of the bandsaw's capability to handle these smaller blades. Let's have a look at how this is all going to go back together. There's my drawer and my drawer front. So after some sanding, I'll glue that back on the front and we'll glue the back back onto the back. So that's what creates the shape of my drawer box. Then with the body of this box, the back will get glued back on there after we close that little kerf that we have from the bandsaw blade. And then of course, once that work is done, our drawer is gonna scoot right inside. So bandsaw boxes, man, that's pretty, are a great way to take advantage of the saw's capability of handling these smaller blades, like this 3 16 I've got on there now. I'm gonna swap blades and show you some other stuff you can do with smaller blades here on your saw. 
I've swapped blades on the bandsaw. Now I've got an eighth inch blade in there. So before I talk anymore, let's just have a look at this blade's capabilities. Working in a piece of red oak. Very tight turns, nice cut quality. Now the cut quality is also a function of the number of teeth we have per inch. So this is an eighth inch blade with 14 teeth per inch. It really did a great job of swinging through those tight radii I was working through. The other thing these blades are really handy for is cutting non-ferrous metal. I've got a piece of aluminum here. Now watch how readily this blade will go through the aluminum. So the thing that's really key there is non-ferrous metal, so that qualifies aluminum, brass, copper for this. It's also really important we have that fine tooth count. If we had the more aggressive teeth here, like we had on the 316s blade that was in here earlier, it would not do a good job on the thin walled aluminum that we're cutting because the teeth just have a tendency to kind of catch. We want to stick with that fine tooth count when we're cutting these really thin metals like this. So remember, the next time you're thinking about what your bandsaw's capabilities are, don't forget about the smaller blades, like eighth inch and three sixteenths. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities, including the bandsaw box, like I showed you, the ability to cut these non-ferrous metals with a fine tooth, smaller blade, and also just tight, tight, tight radiuses that we can cut into the woodworking projects that you're working on, all thanks to small blades on the bandsaw.